Yo! What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. The CBC Coles Boxing Corner. Back at y'all again. First off, thank y'all for always tuning in, subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. It really goes a long way to help the channel grow organically. And just love you guys, man. Thank you so much. First, I want to apologize for the background noise. It's really hot, so I got the AC pumping. So, pardon me, y'all. But anyway, let's get right into it, man. Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Bud Crawford. It's going down this Saturday, July 29th, live on Showtime Pay-Per-View in Las Vegas, Nevada. OMG, I can't wait. I'm having a huge fight party. It's going to be super, super lit. But anyway, man, let's get into this. First off, Errol Spence, 33 years old, 28 fights, 28 wins, no losses, 22 knockouts. He stands at 5'9". With a 72 inch arm reach. He currently holds the WBC, WBA, and the IBF belts. Terrence Crawford is 35, 39 fights, 39 wins, no losses, with 30 knockouts. He stands at 5'8, 74 inch arm reach, and he has the WBO belt. So, but it's it's interesting. So Spence is the taller man, he only has like an inch, but Bud has a longer reach, so we'll see if that's going to play a difference in the fight. But anyway, we are three days away from crowning the welterweight, undisputed champion of the world. And I cannot wait. It's going to be the first in this uh, four belt era. So this is going to be history in the making. Both men are Hall of Famers. And uh, it's just going to be a, a, a clash of the titans. Anywho... My prediction is, um, we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. Errol Spence is the naturally bigger man. Terrence Crawford is a switch hitter, but I don't think any of that is gonna play a part in this fight. It's not gonna be a difference in this fight. I think it's gonna boil down to each fighter fighting their fight and whoever has I would say whoever takes a little bit more risk than usual while protecting themselves may come out the victor. But I strongly believe that Spence, he should watch out for that straight right hand up the middle. And Crawford should watch out for that left hook. Now, Bud cannot start this, this fight off slow like he normally does in all his fights. He has to probably more than likely add pressure to Spence as well. Spence is a good fighter on the uh, on the back foot, but but you hardly see guys putting the pressure on Errol Spence. It's usually the other way around. So if Bud switches up his game plan a little bit and add that pressure, it's gonna make Errol uncomfortable. So I, and and that will force him to make mistakes. Now Errol Spence, on the other hand, I think he should fight his fight, come forward, and I think. If he adds enough pressure, Bud may um, open up more and try to have a dog fight. And I think that might leave Terrence Crawford open in somewhat, which, which give Errol Spence the opportunity to, to get him with some shots. But we'll see how it play out. Both men has pretty good defense. And though both men at times could be irresponsible, and we've seen it time and time again. Both men have been hurt before. But I think Crawford should stay away from trying to have a dog fight with Errol Spence. Like I said, that man, Errol Spence is like a machine. He just keeps going and he has a good chin. Both men have good chin, but like I said, they've been hurt, both been hurt before, but they, they have a pretty solid chin. Now, the only two common opponents they face was Kel Brook and Sean Porter. And a lot of people, a lot of Terrence Crawford fans, used to, they like to use the triangle theory, which does not work in boxing. Because if you know boxing, you're, you're not the same fighter who you were a year ago or a month ago or last fight, right? So that triangle theory does not work. So people would say, hey, look what he did to Sean Porter. He stopped him. But guess what? Porter didn't train for the fight like he normally would have. 
Um, he was near uh, retirement. I call him um, Podcast Porter, right? So he was he was just venturing off into his own thing. And Sean Porter even said it himself. He just wasn't training like he normally would have for this fight. He know that was going to be his last fight, and he retired right after. On the Kell Brook situation, many people would say, well, Terrence Crawford stopped him faster. But again, Kell Brook, he wasn't the same fighter. You know, um, Errol Spence got done with him and, and broke his other eye socket. And he just haven't been the same. So, like I said, you're only as good as your last fight. And the triangle theory does not work. Now, my prediction, finally, guys, I think Errol Spence may get the decision. And um, you know what? Not may. I think Errol Spence is going to pull out, pull out with the decision on this fight. And he will be the next undisputed welterweight champion of the world. And he's going to move up. And I think both men will probably move up. I know there's a rematch clause, but depending on how this fight play out, I don't really see uh, either man taking another rematch unless it was like a robbery or it was a super competitive close fight. But let me know what you guys think, man. Do you agree with me? I got Spence by decision. I know a lot of people saying it's going to be a knockout, you know, either way. But I strongly believe that is going to be a, a, a come to the 12th round. So drop it in the comment box let me know tell me i don't know what i'm talking about like you guys normally do but my prediction if you go back is usually on point so like share comment subscribe Cole's boxing corner love you guys peace out